global markets have been on a slippery slope over the past couple of days, and in general, they have all been in the red. However, overnight, they have picked up, and we've seen some positive trends, particularly coming out of the US. Now, of course, the focus has been on the European nations recently, but the US has hogged the limelight overnight with some positive news about their economy coming out. Now, this news did come out about jobless claims, and this gave an indication that the US economy is starting to look slightly better than previously predicted. Now, this has had a positive impact on the New Zealand dollar as well. On Thursday afternoon, the Kiwi dollar was trading under 75 cents against the US dollar, but we've picked up along with equity markets, and early on Friday morning, we were trading around 75 and a half against the US. An interesting dynamic that has been unfolding over the past 12 to 24 months is the strong increases we've been seeing for pelt as well as for high prices. Now this has of course provided a nice positive boost to New Zealand farmers, particularly at a time when they have also been receiving strong returns for general red meat prices. Now pelts really took a hammering through the early part of the global financial crisis, particularly through the latter part of 2008 and the early part of 2009. At that point in time, the automotive industry around the world was really taking a hammering, and hides and pelts really also took a hammering in terms of prices. Now at this point in time, prices have really risen strongly, and currently up around 450% on those prices that were languishing in the early part of the global financial crisis. This has been a result of the increases we've been seeing for the automotive industry around the world, and of course, a lot of car companies have been doing very, very well. Now at this point in time, it certainly does seem like prices are holding and they're looking like they will hold at least for the short term.